Well, William Engdahl's on the line. He's a geopolitical analyst, author of Myths, Lies and Oil Wars. He's in Frankfurt tonight. William, evening to you. Let's get some thoughts from you about this. Um, Morsi's met one of the opposition's key demands now, annulling that decree, putting him beyond any control. Why is the opposition then still insisting on cancelling the referendum and refusing dialogue? Well, I think the the whole decree was a feint to begin with to allow the uh, pressing through by of, of the uh, proposed new constitution and then the referendum for the 15th of December, not giving the opposition and the liberal groups and the secularists and so forth time to really debate it openly in the country so that voters have an informed choice. So this is uh, this is typical of the Brotherhood. They uh, it's, It rather reminds of, of the bringing to power of Khomeini uh, by, by Richard Cottam and other people in the CIA back in, in the late 70s to control what was a genuine democratic movement in Iran at the time against the Shah. And now you have the, the Brotherhood, which is being supported by the State Department and the Obama administration uh, as, a, as an analogous vehicle to create a, a if you will, a, an Islamic dictatorship in Egypt and a good portion of the population wants none of it. So that's what we're having here. Well, Morsi's gone on to say that if the draft constitution is rejected in the referendum, there'll be a nationwide election. Is that smoke and mirrors as well? You can't really tell because the, the man is not, uh, he, he's a master Jesuit, if you want to call it that, in terms of uh, uh, word formulations that end up meaning nothing except the Muslim Brotherhood agenda pressing forward. And experience has shown once they're in power, for example, in, in Turkey with, with the Erdogan government, which is essentially a Muslim Brotherhood regime under Fethullah Gülen, who sits in, in Pennsylvania with the uh, sanctuary provided by the CIA there, uh, the Turkish government is pressing to remove all the Kemalist uh, features of, of the secular state that we've put into place by Kemal Ataturk in the 1920s and replace it with a theocracy much much like the Mullahs did or Khomeini did in Iran. So uh, it's you cannot really uh, take them at their word. Mm. I mean, that's the theory. That's your, your theory. I, I hear it well. But on the face of it, what we're presented with on the face of it is clear a large part of the population doesn't support that draft constitution. Why not just cancel the referendum, start all over again, form a new assembly, make a new charter? Well, I think if, if, if Mercy was uh, genuinely honest about his goals, he would have done that long ago. But uh, they're pushing a, a, a black agenda, a secret agenda, much much like uh, masonry organizations or secret societies elsewhere, the triads or the, the uh, Yakuza in Japan and so forth. They're pushing a, a hidden agenda on the population and the population rightly so smells a skunk. And I, I think this is the Coptic Christian groups are threatened if the Brotherhood gets its constitution and imposes Sharia law. Mm -hmm. uh, other groups of, of uh, Muslims, for example, Sufi, uh, places of worship are, are uh, under attack in Egypt and, and uh, likely will be increasingly so. So this uh, this really is, is a major, major battle for the future of, of uh, democracy in Egypt. And Willie, what you're saying here, I guess, then ties in with the fact that the US hasn't really made much comment on the draft constitution, even though it's criticised for undermining basic freedoms by a lot of other people. How much does in Washington back Morsi still? And where's the red line, say, if Egypt's uh, fledging democracy is stifled from the very start, as it appears to be to us? Well, I'm working on a, on a draft of a new book, which will be out in about nine to 12 months, uh, on precisely this whole project from, from the U.S. intelligence community over the last... So what are your uh, thoughts about it right now, then? Let's, let's, let's bring that forward. In a nutshell, why hasn't the U.S. criticized it more? Because they're backing it. They're backing... This is probably one of the most major uh, hidden intelligence projects of, of the last 50 years, is, is the U.S. covert support of the Muslim Brotherhood to create... Islamic fascist regimes, if you want to use the term, across the Islamic world, across the Muslim world, from Afghanistan down through Turkey into Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and of course Egypt and well, Syria. William, ultimately. thank you for your thoughts. We've got an outbreak to get to shortly. We're out of time, but thank you uh, for uh, your thoughts there, geopolitical analyst William Engdahl on the line from Frankfurt. Thank you.